Now let's try to apply our knowledge of actuarial notation to try to solve this problem. So first of all, we're given the formula for TP0, which is given by this function over here. And then we want to calculate 5 straight line Q40. And then first of all, let us remind ourselves what uh, this expression here actually means. So recall in the last video, we defined this symbol over here. And it can be best explained by drawing this timeline over here. So time x plus t and x plus t plus u. So t straight line u, q, x refers to the probability that, provided that you're at age x right now, this is the probability that you will die within this period. So t, between t and t plus u years in the future. And so moving back to here, this is, uh, you can just uh, substitute the numbers in. And uh, also notice that there, I didn't write a number over here. So in actuarial notation, if you don't write a number, that means it's equal to 1. So another example is, is if I write p40, this is actually equal to 1p40. But if it's just 1, we use a shorthand and we don't write anything. So in this case, uh, 5 straight line q40 is actually, is actually a 1 hidden over here. So what this means is that we are currently age 40, and then we want to find the probability that we will die within this period. So let's try to, so this is what this symbol means. So uh, the second thing we should do is let's try to decompose this uh, symbol over here. So we want to find this and we're only given this. So we need to decompose the symbol somehow to apply this formula so we can evaluate this. And then recall uh, one of the formulas that we showed last night, last time. And if you check out the last video, you see that this symbol can be expressed like this. So I'm not going to explain this again. So you can use this to uh, help us uh, evaluate this expression over here. So just translating everything to our situation, this just becomes 5p40 minus 6p40. So all we have to do is find 5p40 and 6p40, and then we will get our expression. But then notice that we're not given uh, the formula for TP40, we're only given the formula for TP0. So there's actually a second formula that we need to use. So this is one of the formulas that we're going to use that we showed last time. And uh, here's another formula that we're also going to use. And uh, that is given by this expression here. So what this expression is pretty much is just conditional probability. So you can check out the, the, video, uh, the last video to see why this, this is true. But then we can apply this directly to evaluate both of these expressions over here, which would in turn give us our answer. So if you if you would observe, where we can put the left hand side as 45p0, and they'll have a 0p40, and then 40p5. So I'm just directly applying this formula, and you'll see that this expression is true. And then this expression we need to find, and then these two expressions we already know because we have this function over here. So we can apply it directly to find 5p40. And according to this formula, it's actually given by 45p0 divided by 40p0. And uh, I'm just going to copy the formula out once. So recall that tp0 is defined by this function. So let's just apply it directly. So we have 100 divided by 100, 145 squared divided by 100 divided by 140 squared. So this becomes 140 divided by 145 squared. And then we can do the exact same thing for 6p40. So this becomes 46p0 divided by 40p0. And then you do the same thing, and this becomes 140 divided by 146 squared. So going back to the original problem, we're trying to evaluate this expression, which we found is equal to this formula. So going back to our original question, all you have to do is just to take the difference between these two terms and then plugging it into your calculator, you find that this is equal to 0 0.0127. So this is how you can apply actuarial notation to arrive at your answer.